डियर फैलास वेलकम टू आई टी नॉलेज बेस बैक अगेन विद वेरी इंसाइटमेंट कॉन्टेंट ऑफ एन मैप हैकिंग नेटवर्क सीरीज पार्ट फोर दिस इज द फाइनल पार्ट ऑफ दिस एन मैप हैकिंग नेटवर्क सीरीज नाउ डेट यू नो हाउ टू वर्क विद एडवांस एन मैप कमांड एज शोन इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ एन मैप हैकिंग नेटवर्क सीरीज पार्ट थ्री वी नाउ कैन गो अहेड एंड टैकल द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल गो मोर डीपली इन टू द एन मैप एंड एक्सप्लोर दैट इट इज नॉट जस्ट अ पोर्ट स्कैनर दैट ओनली स्कैन पोर्ट्स ऑन द टारगेट मशीन बट कंटेन्स एन मैप स्क्रिप्टिंग इंजन और एन एस सी विच हैज प्री मेड एन मैप स्क्रिप्ट टू डिग फर्दर इन टू द सिस्टम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ एन एस सी स्क्रिप्ट इंक्लूड द एन मैप स्क्रिप्टिंग इंजन एक्सटेंड द कैपेबिलिटीज ऑफ एन मैप इनेबलिंग इट टू परफॉर्म वेरियस ऑपरेशन एंड रिपोर्ट द रिजल्ट ऑफ एन मैप स्क्रिप्ट विद रेगुलर आउटपुट Some examples of NSE scripts include enhanced network lookup which includes who is lookup trace route samba file share discovery and additional protocols query advanced version detection capabilities this includes complex probing to detect the version of target brute force can discover the authentication mechanism in the different services and brute force it with a nmap script vulnerability detection checks for the vulnerability of services according to their functionalities and versions malware detection having the capabilities to discover trojans and worm backdoor vulnerability exploitation exploits the significant and common vulnerabilities on the go these nmap scripts are written in the lua program this language and named with the extension .nse this means you can even download a third party custom made scripts that can run with nmap in linux and unix the default storage location where all the nmap scripts reside in the forward slash user forward slash share forward slash nmap forward slash scripts subdirectory while in the windows the default location is c program files slash nmap slash scripts subdirectory please note by default version scanning tag s capital v also executes all nsc scripts in the version category the tag capital a command line option executes the tag s capital c command line option which is safe and intrusive categories nsc scripts overview the basic syntax for executing an nsc script is you type nmap space tag tag script space script name space host ip address or fqdn there are various scripts to run with tag tag script default these scripts are the default set and are run when using the tag s capital c or tag capital a option rather than listing scripts with tag tag script this category can also be specified explicitly like any other using tag tag script equals default second script is tag tag script external scripts in this category may send data to a third party database or another network resources an example of this is who is ip which makes a connection on to who is server to learn about the address of the target there is always the possibility that operators of the third party database will record anything you send to them which in many cases will include your ip address and the address of the target most scripts involve traffic strictly between the scanning computer and the client any that do not are placed in this category tag tag script discovery these script try to actively discover more about the network by querying public registries and map enable devices directory services and the like example include html title or obtain the title of the root path of the website smb enumeration share enumerate windows shares and snmp sys description extracts system details via snmp tag tag script safe A script that were not designed to crash services use large amount of network bandwidth or other the resources or exploit security holes are categorized as safe these are less likely to offend remote administrators though as with all other and by features we cannot guarantee that they won't ever cause adverse reaction most of these perform general network discoveries examples are ssh host key or retrieves an ssh host key an html title it grabs the title from a web page scripts in the version category are not categorized by safety but any other script which are not in safe should be placed in intrusive tag tag script vulnerability these scripts check for specific known vulnerabilities and generally only report result if they are found example include real vnc authentication bypass and afp path vulnerabilities
tech tech script authentication these scripts deal with authentication credentials or bypassing them on the target system examples include x11 access ftp anonymous and oracle enumeration user a script that use brute force attack to determine credential are placed in the brute category instead tech tech script broadcast scripts in this category typically do discovery of host not listed on the command line by broadcasting on the local network use the new targets scripts argument to allow these scripts to automatically add the host they discover to the nmap scanning queue tag tag script exploit these scripts aim to actively exploit some vulnerabilities examples include jdwp execution and http shell shock Script number one, default NSE scan. A default script is a group of scripts that run a bunch of individual analysis scripts at once. They are used to expose the necessary information related to the operating systems, like the workgroup name, the NetBIOS name, FTP bounce check, FTP anonymous login checks, SSH checks, DNS discovery and recursion, clock SQ, HTTP method, RPC info, VNC info, SSL check, and etc. Script number two, external scan. An external script is a group of scripts that that runs multiple individual NMAP scripts at once and checks the access and status of the services running on the target by using external testing services, which includes DNS discovery, HTTP cross domain policy, XSS database searches, CVSS checks for known vulnerabilities, TOR node checks, SMTP open relay check, showdown searches, geolocation of IP addresses, and etc. Script number three, discovery scan. Discovery scripts are ideal when you need to have as much information as possible about your remote target. This script might take plenty of time to complete. This category of NMAP scripts is used to perform banner grabbing, CICS information, Citrix enumeration, DNS zone check, HTTP user agent testing, ICAP information, MS SQL configuration, SMB enumeration, etc. Script number four, safe scan. A safe script is a group of less intrusive NSE scripts which makes low noise while used against the remote system. They are used to perform DNS enumeration, DSCP discovery and recursion, HTTP index page finding, finding software versions, HTTP trace, IP forwarding checks, IRC information, NFS mounting and etc. Script number five, vulnerability scan. Vulnerability scanning is also a part of NSE scripts, which are used to check and find some of the most common vulnerabilities on your target host. The type of vulnerabilities it can find include HTTP slow Loris, Apache range DOS header, FTP bounce, anonymous logins, XSS, Shellshock, SQL injection, and other type of CVEs. I personally use this NMAP script all the time as it often discovered vulnerabilities for me in the past. Script number six, authentication scan. An authentication script scan is a group of scripts that are used to check the authentication mechanism of different services, which includes AJP login checks, user enumeration through brute force, X11 server access, SSH authentication, VNC login bypass, MySQL users and hashes, WordPress user enumeration and default login checks, etc. Script number seven, broadcast scan. The broadcast script runs multiple NMAP scripts at once, which checks for the queries of multicast routing protocols, resolve the host name, check for host on the local network, triggers wake on LAN, checks for Awahi DOS, search for SQL servers, EIGRP discoveries, etc. Script number eight, exploit scan. This type of scan has one of the most potent NMAP scripts as it can be able to exploit potential services running on the remote host. It can exploit VS FTPD backdoors, HTTP file upload exploits, light speeds, source code downloads, SMB exploitation, Unreal IRCD backdoor, and other type of CVEs. 
Script number nine, run multiple NSE scripts. You can also run multiple NSE scripts at once by using the following syntax. The primary purpose of running multiple scripts is to perform the recursive function or to double check to validate the result if it is genuinely positive or a false positive. The reason for this would be to confirm that the HTTP Silver Lores vulnerability really exists. Then exploit it in the same run. You can also run the individual scripts by selecting them manually from the default instruction install location as mentioned at the start of the lecture. Script number 10, third party NSE scripts. This is all time favorite third party NSE script are two scripts that are not on included in a basic NMAP installation. The scripts are NMAP vulners and vulscan. Both of those scripts are third party scripts and they both use CVE record to improve NMAP version detection capability. The scripts will use this information to show you known CVEs that are exploitable. I will quickly show you how to install and how to use them so you can play around with them. First, you need to navigate to the NMAP script folder. From here, you need to clone the NMAP Vulner's GIT repository. Make sure you are still inside the NMAP script folder. Also clone the GIT repository for Vulnerscan. And finally update the Vulnerscan database. As with the other NMAP scripts, the usage is pretty similar. Tag S capital V is scanning for version information, which is crucial for vulners to work. But be watchful. You have to note here, this is a folder. And don't forget to type forward slash at the end of the NMAP vulners. Using Vulscan, the syntax to use Vulscan is pretty similar. But be watchful. You have to note here, this is a folder. And don't forget to type forward slash at the end of the Vulscan. Of course, you can also combine NMAP vulners and vulscan into one command as shown in the example earlier in this video on script number 9. And finally, update the NMAP NSE script database. The NMAP script database should be frequently updated to make sure to always have the most up-to-date database scripts available. Wrap up this lecture. The NMAP scripting engine gives much more power to NMAP than its usual use case of being a port scanner. The NMAP scripts provide more enhanced and interesting results which can be used to collect and analyze more information about the remote host. The only drawback of NSE is that it takes more time in providing the results while on the other hand, the advantage is to easily run multiple scripts at once without tangling into hundreds of scripts. Alright, that's all for the now. I hope you have learned pertinently Charmer NMAP usage and tips and tricks here for sure. This four part of the NMAP hacking network series verily was not a tentative discussion. However, you may find it very much whistleblower, hands-on, practical, informative in your future information and cybersecurity learning and certifications. We have successfully completed the NMAP hacking network series hands-on training, which comprises up to four parts. I emphasize to you all that if you want to get a master's in the NMAP network scanning tool. Watch my complete NMAP training series repeatedly until you get familiar with all the switches and syntaxes. My recommendations to you all is to design your own virtual penetration testing lab and get egregious your understanding. Undeniably, I have tied up all my training videos with hands-on movements only. So you will be able to get benefits if you are going to prepare yourself for basic to most advanced information and cybersecurity certifications. Thank you for being here. I will see you in my upcoming admirable video content. I look forward to joining you through this lecture. If you want to see more awesome training content, make sure you click that subscribe button. Click it so you don't miss it. Thank you.